hi everyone welcome back to another diy tutorial so this tutorial is a very detailed and very simple for every beginners to follow okay so if you have been struggling to add blankets to your neckline or to your sleeves i'm going to be showing you this simple method okay the simple method ever for you to add blanket to your garment okay if you follow the step by step without skipping the video you should be able to get your blanket done nice and clean just like mine okay so this is how it's looking like so if you're new to my channel you are welcome and if you're my returning subscriber you are also welcome if you're yet to subscribe to my channel do well to subscribe and help me share this video so let's get started so first thing on the table already gonna head to draw out the line and cut out my pieces and also iron interfacing on it okay so the width of these pieces I have here is 6 inches, okay? So this is the pieces I'm going to use for my blanket. And the length of these pieces is 18 inches. This is 18 inches I have. Because my blanket is going to be longer, okay? And I've gone ahead to divide this into two. So this from this middle point is 3 inches. And then I mark 0 0.5 inch on both lines, okay? So I mark 0, uh, 0 0.5 inch and then I draw the straight line and stop where my uh, planket is going to stop okay so from this lower part here i'm going to be marking 0 0.5 inch upward so this is where i'm going to be cutting out the midpoint okay and stop so i'm going to be marking 0 0.5 inch up okay this point here i will use a straight ruler to connect it so this part here after when I will, I will be done stitching the pieces of the planket to my bodies, then I will trim this part, okay? You will see when I get to this point, I will show you what I will do, all right? So after marking this point here, and um, the next thing I will do, first of all, before I will go and join it, I'm going to pin this down, okay? So I will go and stop stitching. This part is going to be cutting out, okay? So that is what I'm trying to explain and make sure you're going to place your blanket to the wrong side okay the right side the your the pieces that you're going to use for your blanket is going to be the wrong the right side facing the wrong side okay so this is the right side all right and the fabric itself the the garment it has to be the wrong side facing you up okay the right side facing down and once i'm done stitching it to the fabric i'm going to fold this part up okay i'm going to fold it by 0 0.5 inch uh, so this is the right side right and the side facing me is the wrong side so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to pin this uh, uh pieces down so that i can go to my sewing machine to join it okay please if you don't understand my explanation leave your comment below i will definitely get back to you okay so right now i'm on my sewing machine now and i'm going to start now by stitching the pieces that i'm going to use for my blanket to my main fabric okay so that is what i'm going to do here so i hope you understand this i hope this explanation was clear for you to follow up okay if you find it difficult don't 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 hesitate to leave your comment below i will be glad to get back to you okay uh, yeah. so this is it i'm going to switch to the other side and also i'm going to stop stitch this side as well so now that i've done stitching it i'm going to uh let me turn it so that you see so you see this straight line that is where i'm going to be cutting it out okay so right now i'm on my sewing machine now and also i have gone ahead to uh iron the 0 0.5 inch from the both side so i'm going to be cutting out this part that I'm, that I'm, I'm touching okay i'm going to be cutting it open i'm going to stop here and then i'm going to cut this part like i'm going to notch that part like so and then afterward i'm going to turn it to the right side okay this part here is still on the wrong side okay so i'm going to switch to the right side now so this is the right side of my bodies okay so i'm going to switch it this way and i will press iron this okay 
at this point when you're going to be doing your working on your planket it's advisable that you must iron okay iron make sure you iron this proper so you see the 0 0.5 that i fold in so i'm going to use that 0 0.5 now to fold in the rough edges okay i'm going to use it to cover up the rough edges you understand so i'm going to use it to cover up the rough edges just like that all right guys so i have gone ahead to iron this i have given it a very good press i press in the seam allowance in and then i also fold in 0 0.5 inch allowance so that i can use it to stop stitch this part to hide in the uh joining allowance okay and the same thing i did to this part here as you can see i fold in iron it and then fold in with 0 0.5 inch and then i iron it down just like that okay this is the inside this is how the inside is going to look like you understand so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to uh choose which side you want uh, the lapping to be uh, i'm going to go with the right hand side okay i'm going to go in with the right hand side so I'll, i'm going to trim this part off okay this part i'm going to divide it so that i can cut this excess out so that by the time i'm going to fold in this uh, lower part to finish the uh, for the finished look this part will not be too uh bulky okay as you can see it's too thick so we don't need this part okay so we're going to trim this one off since you're, I'm going to use this one for the overlapping. But if you're using the, the left hand side for the overlapping, it means that you're going to be trimming this uh, right hand side and your trimming is going to be on this part. Okay, if you're using the left hand side, you're going to trim from the, this last line here, not the middle line. Okay, from this last line. And if you're trimming from the right hand side, you're going to trim from this um, uh, this middle line that is the right hand side okay so right now we're going to go back to the sewing machine and uh, stop stitch just first before we're going to trim this part off okay okay guys so i'm um, on the sewing machine now i'm going to start now by stop stitching this part okay make sure you take your time while you're working on it don't mind that the video is fast i was so gentle on this video okay i was so gentle at this moment and make sure I get everything uh, straight. Make sure your stitching are straight. Okay, keep your hands straight while you're sewing this because this is the outer part. This is not the inner side, okay, that you want to rush to get it done. This is the outer part. So the best way to get your garment looking so nice and clean is from the stitching, okay? That is one thing I want you to know today. So take your time when you are on this all right i hope you enjoy watching this video i hope you're learning i hope you learned something from this channel today if you do don't forget to give this video a thumbs up leave your comment below leave your review if you ever tried to make one i want to know and also help me share this video okay please help me share this video to your friends and family all right so right now i'm done now we are going to head back to the cutting table so uh right now uh the I have ironed this okay i just iron it so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to trim this part off okay i'm going to cut this separate this off so that i can trim this very one off okay so i'm going to cut now i will cut this very one off okay you see that now and then i'll fold this one in in this way okay i'll fold this one in and then i'll go back to my sewing machine to uh stop stitch this down okay i'm going to stop stitch this down and then probably i'm going to uh stitch all the way okay so i'm going to mark so from here okay i'm going to mark eight inches i'm going to mark 10 inches below okay i'm going to mark 10 inches below and then i'm going to stop stitch from here all the way down okay and all the way to where the 
then inches is going to stop so it's going to remain this way okay so this is what i'm going to do let me go and stop stitch this and i will be back okay guys i have gone ahead to stop stitch this on top of this one okay so at this point if you want to add button to your blanket you can do that now but for me i'm going to leave this one my client doesn't did not request for it and for the original uh, style inspiration there is no button on the blanket okay so i'm going to be leaving it like this and uh, yeah so what i did here i secured this part and then so i secured here and then i from the lower part up upward i mark a uh, 5.5 and then i stop stitch it from here so basically what i did is that i stop stitch from here and i stop at this point and then i uh, overlap it here like i stop stitch at this point and then i take it all the way to the end okay and then from this part here and then i stop stitch here all right so basically that is what i did for this uh planket I hope you enjoy watching this video. I hope you learned something new from this channel today. If you do, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, okay? Subscribe if you're yet to do so and help me share this video. Um, yeah, don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that you will get notified when I'm going to be posting the tutorial for this dress, okay? So, yeah, I want to wish you a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching this video from. And um, I will see you on my next tutorial, okay? Bye.